Good evening and welcome here tonight to Alumni Stadium for this matchup between the Kane University Cougars and the Scarlet Raiders of Rutgers Newark. Tonight promises to be an interesting matchup. Both teams with impressive scores this season. Cougars go in 13 and 2 overall, 4 and 1 in the NJAC conference. Rutgers Newark go in 12, 3 and 1 overall for the season. Also for one and one in the NJAC conference. So we can see there the Cougars grouped up here right before the game gets ready to start. Cougars coming off of a victory over Montclair State that was on Wednesday where they went 3-0. and So you, the Scarlet Raiders now already out there on the field. Cougars coming up there to join them as well. See Chidi Iloka there in the yellow jersey. He'll be the Cougars goalkeeper. Things about to heat up here tonight on an otherwise rather chilly day 50 degrees right now going down to 35 um, later on tonight here both teams actually going down to 48 even so first real cool day we've had so far this month um, but both teams look re fired up ready to go here as we about to get started Matt Brumall on goal for the Scarlet Raiders as we get underway here. Cougars wasting no time here driving this one up. Scarlet Raiders trying to kick that one away, but the Cougars managed to hang on to it here. That's going to stay there as a throw in there for the Cougars as see their number 11, Kevin O'Leary, running for it and playing that off in the corner there. Already looks like we're going to see our first corner here for the Cougars. Wasting no time here. Um, for most of this season, Cougars always got a goal in the first few um, minutes, sometimes even seconds of the um, game starting in the first half. So it looks like they're going for the same thing here. That ball is going to go wide as the Scarlet Raiders kick that one away. And they're trying to run after it here, but that's going to go off as the Cougars to get another throw in once more here. So Cougars going to give this another shot. That's number Eight there, Alex Noriega throwing that one, and Scarlet Raider kicks that one down to around the 40-yard line, but Cougars trying to send it right back to where it was. That one's going to go into the possession of some Scarlet Raiders. Kick that one high, but not away. Was enough distance behind that one. Cougars still hang on to it here. Near close one there for the Cougars as they get even closer to the goal there. Scarlet Raiders trying to throw them off here, but they're hang on to it. There's a pass to another player, and they managed to hang on to it, but Scarlet Raiders going to get that one for now. That's going to be a kick and a little clash there between two players, between Cougar and a Scarlet Raider that time. The Scarlet Raider going to take that one for a goal kick so Scarlet Raider is breathing a little easier after that one but just like that Cougars wasting no time here to take that one back and it's going to be a like there'll be a foul on the Cougars Scarlet Raiders take control of that and so now Scarlet Raiders finally get some distance here on the Cougars Cougars trying to send that back See there, that's um, Cola Sudo driving that one down the field there, trying to get it away from the Cougar side of the half of the goal of the field as much as possible here. But Scarlet Raider is going to give that one right back. So a little action here at midfield. Both teams with, as I said before, very good, very 
nice records overall for the season. Cougars 13 and 2. They finally they were on a bit of a game streak, only um, going on a bit of a streak after their um, last game, 11 game streak, losing that one only to Willie at William Patterson University, where they got one goal after overtime. So it took them a, a little, so it took a little effort to get the Cougars out um, momentum down there. But of course, they bounced back after um, on Wednesday with that victory against Montclair. And they look to do the same here tonight. So Cougars haven't lost a single home game this so far this season. Look in the Rutgers. Scarlet Raiders of Rutgers looking to be the first one here tonight. So a little action there on the side here. See the Cougars driving that one up. That's going to be Olea. Manages to keep it in favor of the Cougars here. So Cougars going to send that one up. There goes a throw in there for so you see Castro driving this one up, trying to get around the Raiders that time, looking for an open player, and he does passing it there wide wide open there, but it wasn't a power behind that one by Zapata, the goalkeeper, able to get that one there, no problem. So he's gonna throw this one back in there. Goal kick actually. So Goal kick there for the Scarlet Raiders. And now stumble there by the Cougars results gonna result in a foul on Rutgers. So Cougars get a bit of breathing room here. Forty minutes to go. No score just yet. Still pretty early here in this first half. So a little leg um that one getting out of there. So a lot of back and forth between both teams here. A little midair collision there, but both players on their feet after that. So both teams keeping this around midfield here. No real advantage just yet. It's gonna get kicked right back where it came from. Scarlet Raiders trying not to get too close to this Cougar. As you see, number 32 there driving that one up. Karisov. So he's the top scorers for the Cougars, only behind um, Sev Kalopian, if I remember right. So that ball's going to go high in the air that time, but the Cougars trying to recover it there, but still a lot of back and forth action. Colosudo manages to get a hold of it. So throw in here for the Cougars. Saw their um, Cougar coach Robert Vine giving a little direction there to Noriega. So now Scarlet Raiders finally get a hold of it, starting to do a little, um, start to dir direct traffic here for a moment. But it looks like it's going to be a foul on Rutgers. They're going to keep it moving here. That's going to go nowhere. Another throw in here for the. Scarlet Raiders who start make who now start to make an advance on the Cougars now. It's their turn to do so here. Cougars trying to regain possession here, playing that one in the corner there. I'm gonna send it away just a little bit here, but Scarlet Raiders gonna hang on to it. There's a little slide there, but Cougars couldn't really get any distance with that one, however. There goes a kick. It's going to go out of bounds there. So Cougars get a little more breathing room now again as they throw this one in. A 
long kick there. Right back to a Cougar player who keeps it on that. Keeps it there for the um, Scarlet Raiders. And so here we go again. Little stumble there. One of the Scarlet Raiders tripping over. Now open in there for the Cougars as they kick for it. And just like that, Cougar goal there. Nice teamwork there by two of the Cougars for the Cougars to get the first goal just a little about nine and a half minutes into this first half. Zapata kicking it towards the goalkeeper who managed to hang on to it, but he was able to work it around and pass it there to another Cougar who was wide open, had no resistance there to see by the replay. Um, it was blocked the first time by the goalkeeper. And there's another pass to another Cougar player who was able to just tap it in there. No problem. So already we're seeing first Cougar goal here. Believe that's the case here. Um, so that's going to go. So that goal going straight to Richard Zapata. Richard Zapata with the first goal for the Cougars. So there we go. Um, first goal there, and Cougars going for a second one here. Wasting no time after that first one. Cougars out one here, even though the scoreboard says 99. I'm sure that's going to be adjusted in just a moment. Um, but yet the... Now the Scarlet Raiders are going to take a turn um, to advance here. So a little interaction there between um, both teams trying to get the advantage. The um, That one going to midfield. Cougars going to keep it, try to keep it going um, in the direction of the Scarlet Raiders. So Scarlet Raiders going to hang on to that, going to keep driving that one forward here. So Scarlet Raiders in control for a little bit here. So it looks like Colasudo going to send that back in the direction of the Scarlet Raiders that time. So one of the Cougar players is still down on the ground going for that header that time. The game's gonna, still going to keep going here. The effect and looks like um, official signaling for a stop here to go address that Cougar player. Still on the ground several seconds after that. It looked like he went for a header and landed hard on his stomach that time. So officials fish, um, stop the clock that time and be trying to go out there and check on that. So we're going to take a short break while they sort that out. So Cougars won nothing over the Scarlet Raiders here um, a few minutes 
eight minutes or so into this first half. Now we see um, them getting to their feet. Looks like that's Zapata. He's just seemed to be a little shaken up. He's going to walk off the court. I mean, sorry, the field this time. So Cougar substitution coming in right away. Number 16, Matthias Patino coming in in place of Zapata. So back on the way here, 33 minutes into this first half. Cougar still got the only goal thus far in this first half. Going for goal number two here as number eight, Throwing it in there for the Cougars. Noriega trying to slow the Scarlet Raiders' advances. So a couple of Headers over there result in the Scarlet Raiders hanging on to it that time. Be a scramble for that one. That's going to be a trip there. And, and hard trip there. The Scarlet Raiders bench is not too pleased about that one. It looks like the game is going to resume. Cougars on um, full speed this time around. So Scarlet Raiders getting a little bit of an advance here, passing that one up to no one in particular that time. Cougars were send, trying to send that one right back, but the Scarlet Raiders still trying to hang on to that one. Long kick there. Cougars Scar Ray trying to get some shots in. It looks like they keep getting repelled there by the Cougars. So that's being played off to the side. Number 32 going for that one. Karisov. <laughs> so it's all Cougars once again as we find ourselves find the Cougars getting closer and closer here to the um, goal, if only for a moment there. Another goal kick here for the Scarlet Raiders goalkeeper Brumall. Little action there on the side. See one of the Scarlet Raiders scrambling to hang on to that one, kicking that one off in the kicking that one off into out of bounds. So once again, Cougars find themselves in an ideal position here on the Scarlet Raider side. throw in here from for the Cougars. Scarlet Raiders going to quickly take control of that one, send that one right back. And so now they're making an advance here. That looks like number um, 26, Timothy Farias, passing that one to Ruben Barreto. But Cougars are going to send that one high back in the other direction now. Little, he little header there. Um, Colosudo coming down, but get right back on his feet as another Cougar throws in. So 
So that'll be a foul for Kane as Scarlet Raiders get ready to send that one up. Looks like it's number 20 there, Dylan Elias. And that time, the Noriega stealing that one from the Scarlet Raiders and trying to send that in the direction, but the Scarlet Raiders are going to steal it right back here as they drive this one up. So it goes a shot, and Cougar goalkeeper Chidi Iloka, number 38, is going to catch that one with no problem that time. So shot there by Rutgers. Their first shot on goal for the night, I believe. Right, Scarlet Raiders getting ready to try this one more time, setting that one a little too back. Going to give that one back to the goalkeeper who kicks it in the other direction. It looks like only didn't get too far there. Wind um, going in the opposite direction of the Scarlet Raiders goal, so that's going to slow them down for a bit. So now Cougars, and that was a kick by Castro. No one there that time. Olea couldn't catch up in time for that one, so... Out of bounds for another goal kick there by Brumall. And so, <clears throat> back here with the Scarlet Raiders, Elias driving this one up, trying to get past some of the Cougars, and he will. Has three Cougars on his tail this time, but he's able to pass it off and still facing that Cougar resistance. Cougar's going to knock it out of bounds that time. So you saw um, Cougars teaming up on the Scarlet Raiders as they advance there to make sure they hang on to it that time as they throw this one in. A hard kick there. Cougars managed to hang on to it. It's going to kick that one back. Ball curving there due to the wind. Another shot blocked by Alea. I'm sorry, Aloka that time. So Aloka blocking his second shot there. <clears throat> so Rutgers definitely making some attempts here. No luck, however, so far, though. And so now the Cougars are wasting no time. Looks like that'll be a foul on the Cougars there, both. One of the records players getting knocked down after they met in midair for that one. So it's going to be a Scarlet Raiders, Scarlet, yep, Scarlet Raiders ball now. There goes a kick. And Cougars continue to make an advance. That one's going to go behind Kristoff, though. So the um, Scarlet Raiders are going to hang on to that one. They're driving this one up once again, though, um, <clears throat> as the it's going to be blocked by player there. Didn't make any much progress. But you see Colasudo there, Colasudo there that time driving that one up. Um, and so Elias... Number 10. Herbert Dull passing that one. There's a header there caught by Loka. So shot attempt there by number 23, Charlie O'Connell. Going to be blocked yet again by Loka. Only a freshman already off, already with a impressive record for the Cougars so far. Just starting off, he's been in nearly starting in nearly every game this season.
Loka with a little over a thousand minutes for this season with thirty eight saves only giving up um Only given up a few shots for this season, but regardless, another save here as the um, ball now in favor of Rutgers yet again. Getting ready here. See Elias there bringing this one up here. Wind blowing in all seemingly every which way here. This might be a factor as they go for a shot. A couple of headers there. Cougars able to kick it away there, but Scarlet Raiders trying to send keep it back. So quick dash there by um, number six. So I believe that's Osaurus. Going to keep the Cougars in this one. Um, Going to keep the, get the Cougars out of that one, I mean. Um, <clears throat> so... There goes Elias again, trying to ball rolling off to the side, but number 26, um, Farias is going to hang on to that one. Cougar stumble there, but no foul. Cougar is able to take it there. It looks like that'll be a handball there for Rutgers. One of the Rutgers players had his look like it touched his hand. <laughs> Take that one, specifically Noriega, number eight. Going to kick that one off for the Cougars here. So Patino trying to grab that one, but he's going to miss. Scarlet Raiders managed to get a hang on of it once again. There goes a kick. And we've got a couple substitutions coming in here for the Cougars. Karisov and Colasudo are going to come down. And number 12 and number 9 coming in here, Kenny Rocha and Robert Barrera. So Cougars got some substitutions their way as we continue play here. The um, Scarlet Raider is not real trying to drive this one up here to get past several of the Cougars in their combined efforts to stop Scarlet Raiders. There goes a shot there, but Aloka going to take it yet again. So... Scarlet Raiders now up to four shots. All of them saved at this point by Eloka. There goes a hard kick there, like briefly hovering over the um, goal. There's a shot there that's going to go far right. So that shot by Patino going way high that time. As so the Scarlet Raiders getting out of that one there. Cougars still been in the lead this entire matchup so far. So long pass there to no one in particular. Look like that's gonna go out of bounds and it will. Cougars man couldn't really hang on to that one with that pass. So 
So Cougar is still continuing their advance, starting to pick up some momentum here. Scarlet Raiders trying to stop them in their way, and they will just for a moment here. Past the little over the 18-minute mark there, look like one of the Cougars on the ground here. He's going to get up to his feet. Doriega kicking that one far, trying to pass it to um, Rocha. But that's going to go off, and so another goal kick coming in here for the um, another goal kick in store here for the Scarlet Raiders, who making several attempts to tie up the Cougars 1-1 here, but not to all blocked, of course, by Cougar goalkeeper Chidi Iloka. They haven't been able to get past him thus far. So there goes another kick. There's a header over there, and whistle going to be called. That looks like it's going to be going. Yep, it's going to be a foul on the Scarlet Raiders as the Iloka ready to kick that one off. Cougars at five fouls so far. The that was the that was Rutgers' second one this game. 17 minute mark here. Just like that, it's gonna be look like another foul there for Scarlet for Cougar for the Cougars. Gonna send the um, ball right back for the Scarlet Raiders that time. So there goes a kick, and just like that, we're back into this now. Scarlet Raiders trying to make it, trying to build some momentum here. Cougars quick to intercept that one trying to get in the way of these passes and it looks like they will that time stealing the ball there from scarlet raiders trying to drive this one up you see olea there but that one's going to go high that's going to be off of that's going to be out of bounds for the um cougars throw in there for rutgers driving this one up and that's going to be a block Okay, so a little um, midfield action here. Um, almost went into the favor of the Cougars, but Cougars going to hang on to that one. Olea passing to um, Patino that time. So Cougars with the advantage here, that kick going right towards the um, Scarlet Raiders goal, but it looks like Scarlet Raiders were able to repel that. No problem. So now we see um, Cougars passing this one back a little bit, trying to direct traffic here as they kick that one. Scarlet Raiders going to get ahead on that one. That's going to go high um, in the air. Cougars with an opportunity here. That one bouncing off the bar there. So... And just like that, we saw a near goal there for the Cougars taken by um, close call there. That one bouncing off. You can see they had bounced off the um, bar around the goal and just to go went right back in the opposite direction there. So a lot of people got excited there. Close call for the Scarlet Raiders with that one. So that shot by um, that's going to be by Von Cusano that hit the crossbar that time. So. Um, Near second goal there for the Cougars. Almost no one there to 
stop that one besides the goalkeeper, of course, but even that caught him off guard. So um, Cougars with a close second goal there, but now it's going to be all Scarlet Raiders as they continue to go up here. Cougars trying to keep that one away, and it looks like they will. Ball going to go high. Little scramble there for the ball, and Barrera is going to hang on to it, but looks like that's going to go out of bounds for the Cougars. So now you see Elias. I'm going to throw that one in. It's going to be a throw in for Elias and the Scarlet Raiders. Looks like that's going to be... Um, Little 12 minutes into a very into a matchup by two close teams here, Cougars and the Scarlet Raiders. That foul by the Cougars took a little while to go through, but it did. And it looks like the Scarlet Raiders trying to keep that play, keep away here from the Cougars. Wide pass there, far pass, I mean. And that's going to go high. A couple of headers there try to send it in the right direction that time. And the Cougar is going to run through and pick that one up. At least that was the idea, but the Scarlet Raiders caught on there. So what you're seeing is a very close matchup between very two um, ma very matched up teams here. But so far only Cougars with a single goal in um, about 10 minutes into the into this first half. Scarlet Raiders making several attempts here, but none have been successful thus far. And now we see here the Cougars going for yet another one. That's going to be a shot that's going to get be caught. No problem by Brumall. So we'll see the Scarlet Raiders in a comfortable position here, trying to pass that one off. It's going to get kicked away. So Cougars trying to make a steady advance here. Scarlet Raiders doing, not able to do a whole lot to stop them here. Cougars getting really close to the goal here, but um, Brumall going to hang on to that one, catch that one. It's going to look like it's going to be a throw in. No more. Going to be a goal kick this time. So goal kick. So goal kick there. And just like that, the Cougars are going to find themselves with possession after that foul, trying to drive this one up. Rutgers trying to get in their way here and slow them down. That's going to be a kick. Ball's bumped there. Going to go in the direction for Rutgers this time. So not really <laughs> been at a bit of a stalemate here aside from a couple of shots ever since the Cougars made their first goal about 10 minutes in here. Um, Rutgers have been trying to match that up to no avail here. Um, we saw a very powerful shot there blocked by one of the players. Looked like a 
Scarlet Raider got in the way that time. Cougar's going to kick that one out of bounds. Olea that time. Um, Eli Elias throwing this one in yet again. So number 22 that time. Um, Mayorga kicking that one back for the... Um, kicking that one back um, in, in the direction of his team, trying to get some can grip over it, but no success so far. Um, Scarlet Raiders have been trying here, but the Cougars giving them a hard time, of course, haven't been able to make any much much advances here. So um, there goes a kick and a pass to um, Scarlet Raider there, but um, looks like the Cougars, really the whole story of this game is uh, both teams giving each other a hard time, no real advantages. Um, Cougars even have more shots, five compared to four on Rutgers, but Rutgers has been, both teams have had equal shots on goal, of course. Um, that one's going to go back in the direction of Brumall, who throws this one back in for the Scarlet Raiders. Cougars wasting no time there. That's really the big um, defining factor between the two teams. Cougars are just relentless in here. Um, Rutgers have, been, has, have made a couple of advances as well. Um, but it seems in the case of the Cougars, every time the Scarlet Raiders get a little bit of breathing room here, it looks like the um, Cougars are just quick to um, keep them on edge again. So you see the Scarlet Raiders hanging on to this one. But that's going to go out. And so now, and also a couple of Cougars players are going to come out. In comes number five, Brandon Gomez, and number 17, Michael Vargas. So they're going to be coming in here for the Cougars. Vargas coming in for Von Cusano, number 27. And Brandon Gomez coming in for Alex Noriega. So just past the seven-minute mark here tonight as the um, in this first half. And so far we're seeing the um, – that's going to be drived up here. So um, – that, sh that was going to go out of bounds. So now the Cougars get a throw in. Take that one. Um, find a hard time there. That's going to be out of bounds there um, for Olea. He just couldn't get past those Scarlet Raiders that were um, giving him a hard time there. But sure enough, um, Jude, not Jude, sorry, um, number 25 there, um, Ishmael Sorius, trying to send that one back in the direction he's trying to hang on to. Number 23. Payne Vasquez now with that header. So Olea finally gets control of it once again. He's wasting no time driving this up. Looks like that's going to – that's a foul on Olea. Looks like he hit one of the um, Cougar players oh, – sorry, one of the Scarlet <laughs> Raiders on face that time with his hand. So um, that player was down, but he's going to get back up here. That was um, – Elias, the guy hit that time. So it's going to be a foul there. There goes a kick right within range of the Cougars' goal, but they're going to try to send that back at the little over five minutes now. It's going to be another foul there, um, setting back the Cougars even further. So Cougars get set back once again here with that call. Under five minutes now here in this first half, and so far only goal we've seen yet is by the Cougars 10 minutes in as I said before nothing really else going on here today um well not today but in this first half um Cougars and Scarlet Raiders getting a couple of advantages here even some shots on goal but nothing past that just yet so throw in here for the Cougars that one's gonna be um a little high Osores trying to send that back in the direction of the Scarlet Raiders, but Scarlet Raiders going to hang on to this and keep advancing here. So now Scarlet Raiders um, making some progress up here.
but the cougar is trying to repel them this time around. Trying to send them packing. Okay, so it looks like, um... A little over three minute mark here, Scarlet Raiders get ready for a... To send this one in. Cougars getting in defensive positions here. Scarlet Raiders definitely could keep this interesting. That's gonna go and hit the crossbar, and with that, it's going to go in for a Rutgers goal now. So that one, the exact inverse, almost the inverse of the Cougar goal. Um, it hit the crossbar, but the Cougars, I mean, sorry, the Scarlet Raiders were able to keep this in there for that. So now things, so just a few minutes before the first half is up, we find ourselves tied up here with the Cougars and the Scarlet Raiders 1-1. One, one. So you can see they hit the crossbar, but another one of the Scarlet Raiders um, was able to send that one and keep that one in there, no problem. So just like that, um, the Scarlet Raiders find themselves back in the game here yet again, just before the first half. Both teams now tied up 1-1. One to one. Okay, so a little low, just two and a half minutes left here in this first half, and already we saw things get interesting here with that Cougar goal. So now the, um, I mean, sorry, with the Scarlet Raiders goal that we just saw. So now we're going to see a um, little more action here. You can see Osores trying to send that in the direction of the Cougars, but the Scarlet Raiders, of course, going to send that right back. Another drive up here. Cougars driving. Sorry, Scarlet Raiders trying to drive this one up, trying to take the lead here. That shot's going to go high, and Iloka going to catch that one, no problem. So um, that last shot, that goal by the Rutgers, a little um, unusual here, and how he wasn't really able to prepare for it with the crossbar, bouncing off the crossbar, and then finally hitting in the... Um, and then... Um, rebounding off for a Rutgers goal, so. So, Adrian Mayorga, Mayorga, I'm gonna take that one, get that goal there for the um, Scarlet Raiders that time. He was assisted by um, Dylan Elias, that's number 20, and Already, with just one minute remaining here, it looks like the Scarlet Raiders trying to um, go two for one here. So are the Cougars as they make an advance. It's gonna be a long pass there. No one, no one to receive that though. As the um, Rutgers hoping for a foul there, but they're not gonna get it. Number seven there, um, Chizoki at Tubi driving this one up. And now Elias with the pass. One of the Cougars trying to hang on to it, and they will. And that's going to go wide. So another goal kick here for the Cougars coming up. Just less than 30 seconds remaining here as Iloka is going to try to send this one. I just let the clock run down a little bit here. At 10 seconds now. That's going to be a long kick there, and it's going to go wide to wrap up this first half so that will be the end of the first half both teams tied up at 1-1 here Rutgers getting that goal um just 42 minutes into this first half so they're back in this game I mentioned this would be a very close matchup at the beginning and it's proven thus far both these teams will 
not give up their well not give up the victory that easily so of course so we're gonna take a short break here and we'll be right back for the um second half of this game once again both teams at one goal each here tonight getting ready here for the second half of this matchup between the Kane University Cougars and the Scarlet Raiders of Rutgers Newark. Justin George here providing coverage as we just get un just start off this second half here, wasting no time, of course. Um, Rutgers found themselves back in this just after the Cougars spent most of the first half in the lead, one nothing. Cougar Rutgers able to get a goal off of the ball hitting the sidebar for that to happen. So now the Cougars um, and Rutgers are tied up. One goal each. Both teams providing a very close matchup as expected. Cougars are 13 and 2 for the season and Rutgers is 12 and 3 for the season. Cougars are undefeated at home and the Scarlet Raiders look to continue that here as they go for their second goal with this corner kick. That one's not going to get anywhere that time, though, as we see. Um, I believe that's Olea, number 11, driving that one far away there for the um, Cougars. So court switched up. Cougars are on the left. Scarlet Raiders are going to be on the right here as we see the um, Cougars trying to make an advance here, wasting no time with these rapid passes. He's pass it off to number nine, who's going to get ready for the shot, and that's going to go wide there. So that was Kenny Rocha going for that shot there for the Cougars, but he wasn't able to get it. That's going to go wide for the Cougars. So the started here once again, and we see the um, throw in here by the Scarlet Raiders after that missed shot. Nice block there by number 27, um, Kusano, coming back in here for this second half. Kusano going to give this one to... His teammate, number 33, um, Ducek, Tim Ducek, who is coming in, in for, I believe, the first time in this matchup. So Cougars trying to go for their first goal here. It's going to be a whistle there. And it looks like the, um, yep, that's, um, looks like that was offside that time. So um, the... Rutgers goalkeeper now kicking this one off here, which he will. So kick off there by Rutgers goalkeeper. So some action here by midfield as the Cougars send it back in the direction of the Scarlet Raiders. It's going to be a stumble there. It's going to be a foul on the Scarlet Raiders, much to the annoyance of the um, the group there in um, the Scarlet Raider bench. But the Cougars, with that foul, going to put them much closer here to the Rutgers goal. That shot going to go wide there for the Cougars. So second close call there in a while once again here for the Cougars. They weren't able to get anything off of that one as well. So... Yet again.
Okay, and it looks like we are going to um, Yep, that was definitely a foul by the Cougars who weren't um, really in any trouble there that time. We saw the um, no trouble there for the Cougars as Chitty Iloka send in that one with that goal kick. So making a drive there, now a pass. That's And another shot going towards Iloka. Once again, he takes it no problem there. Scarlet Raiders go send that one out of bounds. And so another throw in there by um, Tim Ducek. You see there's... Um, Richard Zapata back in the game after walking off in the first half there from a hard bump on the ground. He's back in this. So there goes another kick there. Both players, both teams scrambling after that one. It's going to go off into the corner there. And it looks like that is going to be a ball for the um, officials talking it over. Looks like it's going to be given to the, yep, it's going to be a Cougar ball as they throw it in, trying to get that away from their court as much as possible here. And now Cougar is making an advance here. That's number 12 there, Robert Barrera driving this one up. It's going to be a hard bump there by... Number 26, I mean, sorry, number 26 taking the hard bump there. Looks like that would be a foul on Rutgers that time. So that Rutgers foul putting the Cougars back in the lead. Getting back to their feet here after that hard bump. So just ready to start here. Olea kicking that one off. There's Olea with a kick. That one going high there. And a little stumble there. It looks like a collision. But the um looks like it's gonna be a problem there with the Cougars. Um, um Scarlet. <clears throat> Scarlet um, Raider is going to hang on to that one, specifically the goalkeeper throwing this back in here. So another shot, close call there for the Cougars, trying to get a shot in there, but that one was going to go wide. So first shot blocked, and the follow-up is also going to be no good. Both of those were by Von Cusano. Trying to get a shot in there for the Cougars to no avail that time. So, another close call there for Cougars as um, you see there off the replay. Um, first shot, um, goalkeeper and um, Scarlet Raider players are just constantly in the way of the Cougars. Cougars keep kicking for it but not making any advances whatsoever. So, close call there for um, Scarlet Raiders as the Cougars try this up, start setting this up once again. They're going to try yet again here for another one. So we can see this here. Ball's driven up. So down to 36 minutes in here, Cougars making several attempts. Both teams actually making several attempts. So I mentioned before, this has been a close match in almost every way. 
Um, both teams with five shots on goal. Cougars only one shot over the Scarlet Raiders, 10 to 9 here. So definitely a um, very close. So it looks like the um, ball still going in the direction of the um, Cougars that time. Not really a whole lot of um, trouble there. It looks like it's going to be a throw in. You can see both teams getting into position here as um, Elias gets ready to kick it out there um, once more for the um, Scarlet Raiders. Hubert Dole coming in for Carlos Castro on the Cougar side. So... Eloka catching that one no problem yet again. So Cougars haven't been having much trouble ever since that one goal, which was kind of unusual in a way as well, too, bouncing off the sidebar before it finally went in for the rebound that time for the Cougars. So a little unusual in that sense, of course. But um, now we see the Cougars in here wasting no time trying to drive this one up. That's going to be blocked there. So bringing this up, and there's a... Um, Little action there, and that's going to get kicked off. That ball going to go far off there. Cougar's going to get a throw in here, so Cougar's throw in. Scarlet Raiders sending this right back here, but the Cougars, Cougars trying to get control of it, but Scarlet Raiders now making progress there, a little stumble there, but a pass, that pass is going to be good to another Scarlet Raider player who gets knocked down to the ground. Official isn't going to say, hasn't said anything about it, game keeps, continues. Um, see the kick there. So both player, both teams running that one off into the corner there. Robert Pereira and Paul Tarnowski, both of those guys keeping it um, over there in the corner. But it looks like the um, Scarlet Raiders is going to kick this one back in here. So we're going to have that. Scarlet Raiders quickly taking control again, driving this one up to the Cougars side, but of course no one there that time. It's all Cougars, so Chitty Iloka taking that one and throwing it right back out. So Iloka sending this one right back for um, in the other direction, so both teams going um, now find themselves at midfield yet again. So get it. So back here again with a th um, Scarlet Raider throw in. Mm -hmm. 
they're going to throw it in yet again. Cougars keep repelling them at every turn. 15 minutes um, down here in the second half, and so far, neither team really making any progress. Both teams um, keeping this, getting a couple shots on both sides, but haven't been able to, haven't been able to, um, yeah, anything. Shots always been blocked. Both goalkeepers been rather busy here today. Um, Uloka with five saves for um, the Cougars. Brumal with four. So we find ourselves in midfield once more. Cougars driving this up. Um, we're going to see a throw, a kick in here for the Cougars. So Cougars are kicking this in, um, sending it in the direction of the. Scarlet Raiders. Scarlet Raiders send it right back, but the Cougars are going to knock that one out of bounds. So out of bounds there. Throw in here for the Scarlet Raiders. Cougars undefeated at home. Hoping to continue that here tonight. It's been a very close matchup so far. Both teams having to get a little unusual with their goals in order to score here. So um, saw a couple close calls by both teams in the second half. Neither team scoring yet, however. So now we see the um, close call there for the Cougars. But the Scarlet Raiders were able to knock that one away there. So Scarlet Raiders almost giving that one up to the Cougars there. But they able to, to send it back in the nick of time. So that's going to be two shots. Um, oh, that almost was a second goal there for the Cougars. But now the Scarlet Raiders sending this one back in the direction of the um, Cougars goal. Um, Richard Zapata given number 11 on the Scarlet Raiders there a hard time. That's going to be Sebastian Gos Gosnowski. Um, he's going to, but they're going to send that right back. Cougars in control now. He got outnumbered there by the Scarlet Raiders. So Scarlet Raiders take that back yet again. Um, so that's really just how close this has been. A lot of both teams going back and forth, not really having the ball any longer than the other. But um, Cougars has definitely had a um, couple more. I was going to say they had a couple more shots on goal, but honestly, it's just been a little too close in terms of both teams just going after it. So um, we see here now um, Chidi Iloka taking that one back yet again. He's going to kick this off here for the um, Cougars. He's going to send that in the direction of number 33 for the Cougars, but once again, that's going to bounce out of bounds. And now... Um, number 15, Anthony DiRissi going to throw this in for the Scarlet Raiders. And another out of bounds there. So, so another throw in there as the Scarlet Raiders get closer and closer to the Cougars um, goal. So a lot of corner action here. Ducek trying to keep that um, away, trying to give the Scarlet Rays a hard time, but now we're going to see a corner kick here. So there goes a corner kick coming up for the Scarlet Raiders. So that there goes the kick, and that header is going to by the Cougars. So Cougars, no problem there. They're going to knock that one away there for the um, – there's a stumble – so Scarlet Raider, so Scarlet Raiders weren't, weren't able to get that one. Nice slide there by um, May Yorga. He's trying to try to hang on to it there. Cougars behind him that time. No foul called. And Cougars gonna knock that one away. Mm -hmm. 
no luck there for the um, Scarlet Raiders looking for a break here. So we're going to see some substitutions. Um, we see Karisov come in um, for the second time here today. He's going to take the place of Robert Barrera. And we're seeing Cola Sudo come back in yet again. And he was taking the place of um, Vaughn Cusano. So a couple of Cougar substitutions coming back in here from for the second half, ready to get their second goal here today. So getting ready for that. Um, Cougars looking to take, take the lead here. They were in the lead for most of the first half, but quickly found um, but quick goal at the end, near almost just minutes away from the end of the first half of the um, game, found, them, found the um, Scarlet Raiders tie this up with the Cougars. So Cougars lost um, only two games this semester, second one due to a overtime decision on the 10th against William Patterson. So Cougars looking, Cougars undefeated at home, looking to stay that way here. Rutgers trying to um, go five and one here in this NJAC conference. After this, Cougars only have two more home games, both on a Wednesday. So next one's going to be against Rowan. That's next Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. And after that, we're going to see one more match here against um, Ramapo College at 7.30 p.m. 28. So, so we're going to see the Cougars. So Cougars hoping to remain undefeated here tonight at, at home as we look to a um, kick there by Ducek. So Scarlet, Ra um, Scarlet Raiders driving this one forward for the Cougars. I mean, sorry, driving this forward on their side. Um, so we're going to see, but it's going to go right back into the hands of Eloka. No problem there as he um, kicks this one out. Goal kick there for the Cougars. Midfield, Cola Sudo heading that one off in the direction of a Rutgers player. Ball's going to go high in the air. Rucker is trying to pass it to another player there. No one in particular that time. So there goes a kick and pass to Scarlet Raiders. Specifically, that's number 23, O'Connell. For the Scarlet Raiders, and they're trying to get the edge here over the Cougars here tonight. Been tied up 1-1 this entire second half. So far, um, Scarlet Raiders. So Scarlet Raiders with that. Th so Scarlet Raiders mm -hmm. gonna have that throw, and it looks like that's gonna be another foul there on Kane. see yet another corner kick here so there's the corner and that's going to be headed away by the Cougars Zapata trying to send that away and they will just and so Cougars finally get a bit of breathing room here with that foul call so now the Cougars going to um, keep that one going to send that off so that's going to be um, do check So 
So do check sending that one off to a, but right back into the hands of the Scarlet Raiders. You see Zapata there trying to catch up and take that one away. So we're going to see a yellow card called on Rutgers after that one. First card of the game here. Rutgers find themselves with another throw in here, this time close to the corner. Cougars trying to knock this away as much as possible here. Gonna, and that was a shot that's going to go h way high that time, so that one was nowhere near it. So a couple of substitutions we're going to see. Um, Eric Reyes is coming in for Olea, number 19, coming in for number 11. Now we're going to see Brandon Gomez coming in here for um, Payne Vasquez. So number five coming in for number 23. So after a little back and forth action, you see the Cougars on the assault here. Cougars line themselves up for a moment here, find themselves trying to keep it away from the Scarlet Raiders. That's number nine there. Um, Kenny Rocha nearly having that one. Scarlet Raiders got a um, foot on that one and sending that one away. So you got another close call there for the Scarlet Raiders that time. Um, so now we see a long shot there. That's going to go wide and behind the goal that time. So no worries there for the um, – no problem there that time for the Cougars as we're going to see another kick, goal kick. Cola Sudo trying to head that one off. So that's going to be driven up there. Looks like that might be a goal. I'm sorry, that might be a foul for the Cougars that time. It's going to be a Scarlet Raider ball. Von Cusano going to come in for the Cougars in a moment. And it w that one got close to the Cougar goal, but Chidi Iloka catching that one. No problem there that time. Hubert Dull bringing that up. I'm Adrian Mayorga.
little stumble there. Nice steal there by the Cougars who make an advance here. You saw there Kenny Rocha trying to bring that one up, but the he just found himself outnumbered there by the Scarlet Raiders. So now um, Cola Sudo taking his time, taking his turn now to do that. Isaiah Curris throwing that one in there for the um, just throwing that one in there that time for the Scarlet Raiders, but it's going to go back in the opposite direction now. Nice header there, but the Cougars are trying to. We're trying to take send that one back in the other direction. So now we see the Scarlet Raiders driving this one up. We um, or Suarez almost had that one. Um, I was trying to keep that away for um for the Cougars. And now we find this ball um going back in the direction of the Scarlet Raiders that time. So um, a little over 14 minutes left here on the clock with that. So there goes a throw in. And with that um, little ball's going to stay in the air for a bit. So there goes another kick. Um, so a ball back at midfield now. Sent in the direction of the Cougars goal. Cougars scramble in to get it, but so are the um, sorry, the Scarlet Raiders. And things are starting to sound very familiar. It's with very good reason. Both these teams have just been neck and neck this entire second half. Unable, well, really can't really find a way to edge out one over the other here both teams haven't scored at all yet during this second half as we approach the 13 as we are on the 13 minute mark Rutgers trying for this one now with that throw in there in the corner looks like that's gonna be a foul on So that foul there by Rutgers is only short-lived as they find themselves with the ball yet again. It's going to be Anthony DeRisi bringing that one up, but going for the shot. But Chidi Iloka is just going to scoop it up. No problem that time there. So Iloka walking away with that one, kicking that back towards the, for the Cougars. Nice kick away there by the Cougars as we see some substitutions coming in here for um, so Sebastian Godnutsky coming in for Charlie O'Connell and Chizo Chigozi Atubi coming in for Timothy Farias. So now the Cougars had a couple substitutions. Rutgers had some in here. Both teams looking to get the advantage here and score in this matchup. Get the edge over the other here, which neither team has been able to do here in this second half. Cougars know both teams just need one goal here to take the lead here. And it looks like we're going to see the... Um, Number 26 for the Cougars driving this one up. So Cougars have a little bit of momentum here, but we're going to see Brumall slide to take that one back for the Scarlet Raiders, and he's going to send that one out yet again. So goal kick there for the Scarlet Raiders.
It's a little action there, trying to kick that away, but it's not going to. And it looks like the yep, Scarlet Raider is going to take this one, even as the Cougars are essentially knocking on their door here. Scarlet Raider is trying to send this one far away, but the Cougars trying to make sure it stays there. So now number 27 there with a bit of momentum. You see Cola Sudo running to try to take it, and he's going to kick that one wide. So Cola Sudo making an advance there for the Cougars, but he wasn't able to get anything out of it that time. He was just facing a little too much pressure. So um, number 10 coming in here on the um, – see a couple of substitutions coming in here for the Cougars. Kevin Olea coming in for Eric Reyes. Payne Vasquez just came out, coming back in for Alex Noriega. And Kenny Roca coming in for Timothy Karisov. So both players, both teams actually um, rotating their players here, trying to get the advantage um, as they go for the um, for the. Yep, and it's going to be a knockdown. They are like one of the Scarlet Raider players get knocked down. You hear a lot of um, reaction from the crowd and the. Um, and the bench over that one, so that's going to be a foul on the Cougars. But just like that, we're going to see Rocha with the ball. So Rocha bringing this one up here, and now Olea, both, team, both of them trying to get the advantage here, but it looks like they're not going to um, keep it. And so with eight minutes left, neither team still haven't scored yet, looking to do so in just a moment here. Both these teams very close in many ways, score um, record overall for the season coming into this game. And it's starting to show here, both teams not able to really get the advantage over the other much as they were hoping for so um and so another close call there for the cougars that time but just like that it was gonna get caught by um, Cougar, I mean the Rutgers goalkeeper, no problem. He sends that one out, and so now number thirty-three has a Tim Duchek, Tim Duchek, uh, only for a moment, and that's going to go out of bounds there. So a lot of quick pace here. Cougar is starting to realize time is right now. It looks like that's going to be offside there. So now it's going to have be the um, – now we're going to see Scarlet Raiders in possession here. Isaiah Curis kicking that one up there. They ain't a little too close for comfort there on the Cougars side, but they quickly send it away. No real problem there. And now you see um, Osores keeping that one away there from the Cougars' goal as Roca trying to get around to that one, but the Scarlet Raiders always staying, keeping up with them that time. So a little action here. That goes a pass. Now Roca getting that one out of his hands there. Both teams are just evenly matched up here. Neither team able to get able to get the advantage that they were hoping for over the other.
That one's going to be a little too close there for the... Um, That's a little too close for comfort there. That's going to bounce off the crossbar that time for the Scarlet Raiders. Close call there for the Cougars. And you can see the um, player there that time going off of this replay. That was just a little too close that time. You saw the um, shot there and bouncing off. It looked like the football um, that time it was going off of. But regardless, still very close there for the Cougars. Less than five minutes now, neither team able to get the advantage over the other here. Cougars and Kane, of course, hoping to wrap this up. Things are cooling down here tonight, but it looks like things are just starting to heat up there on the um, outside here for the teams. are down to... Um, 46 degrees now here going down to 36 overall so things cooling down here one of the cooler nights here tonight but things are still heating up there on the field on the field both teams looking to get the advantage no, neither team really able to do so just yet as we're down to under four minutes now um, both teams looking to both teams really just matched up in every single way so um I haven't seen a single goal thus far um, this entire game. And we're talking about a, um, you know, Cougars have went, went as high as seven goals in, in a game before. So this is definitely not, um, this is, they're definitely playing a very close here tonight. So Cougars getting some momentum here, specifically Kenny Roca driving this one up, but that shot's going to go wide, so so shot nowhere near close that time. Both teams no stranger to um, high scores, but in particular, um, Rutgers even went 8-1 and one against John Jay College, so both teams used to this, but um, Cougars usually winning games by upwards of three and four find themselves one and one here um over Rutgers Newark now down to two and a half minutes left here as both teams looking for that advantage um So that one going far there for Rutgers Newark, who feel an opportunity here with this corner. So Rutgers Newark, 90 seconds remaining here, a little over 90 seconds. Things starting to heat up here. Rutgers Newark looking for that advantage, trying to edge out the Cougars here. So there goes a thing that, so there goes a shot, and it's kicked away by um, Cougar player, no problem there. Uh, Scarlet Ray is going to try it again, but Chidi Iloka going to hang on to it that time. So he's been one of the many, um, one of the reasons why um, the Rutgers haven't really been able to get an advantage. He's just, he's up to six saves, uh, seven now, I believe. Um, six saves now in this after that one. And now we find ourselves at 60 seconds here. No real advantage going for it. Kenny Roka trying yet again to go for the shot, hoping to edge out. Rutgers Newark here in these last few seconds of the game. So Cougars um, desperately trying to get, um, trying to finish this up here with 40 seconds remaining. So there's a pass to Roca who, run, who takes this one up. So 30 seconds now, down to 30 seconds. And so now it looks like the Cougars are going to get a corner opportunity. This may very well be their chance here to close this in. We're going to see some substitutions in here. Number fifteen, down to fifteen seconds now. I'm sure they're going to have to finish this one up if they want to 
finish the game. So there goes a kick there. Moment of chance for the Cougars. And just like that, we looks like we are going to go into overtime here tonight. Both teams not really able to get an advantage. So that go that's going to be the end of the second half here. Both teams at one and one. So just like the announcement said, we're going to play two up to two overtime periods here of 10 minutes each. That, of course, but uh, um, that is going to be the end of regulation play here. Both teams not able to get the advantage um, in here over the other one and one. So we're going to play first one to get a goal wins here. So stay tuned for that. So both teams at one and one here tonight as we go into overtime play. Stay tuned. Back here at Alumni Stadium for overtime one of two here. Um, we're in sudden death now. Both the Kane Cougars and the Rutgers Scarlet Raiders unable to really get a decisive advantage over each other in the second half. No one scored. Find ourselves at one and one here tonight. So now the first team to get a goal is going to secure the game neither team is able to score then we're going to find out then we then we are going to find ourselves in a tie so this is the first of two 10 minute halves the Kane Cougars and Scarlet Raiders here tonight both teams very close matched up in terms of their overall season both teams been having really good seasons thus far Cougars and Scarlet Raiders here tonight as we see um that's one getting a little too a little close trying to head it kenny roca trying to head that one in there for the um cougars but that one was shot was going to go wide that time so close call there for the scarlet raiders they're not going to get anything out of that um they're going to walk away um that time no problem so So that's going to be a foul there for the Cougars. That Cougar is going to get the foul for them as the Scarlet Raiders. Now it's their turn to make an offense here. Number seven there, a Tubi driving this one up for the Scarlet Raiders. But it's going to be a foul there for Rutgers Newark, much to the dismay of the players there on the bench so they're not too pleased by that call cougars get another opportunity coming up here so just like that we're gonna see, see a trio of fouls first by Kane, then by Rutgers, and yet again once more by Kane. So And it looks like the official was telling the um Rutgers bench to settle down there. They were not too pleased by some of the decisions there. So now we see Elias yet again here going for this kick. Trying to put an end to this game here. Both teams, first team to score here is going to wrap this game up. If no score, team scores by two over, by after the second overtime period, then we're going to have a tie on our hands. But a little unusual here for the Cougars. Cougars facing no ties thus far here in their season. Rutgers Newark getting exactly one tie over them. So that's going to be. The second foul in short succession there for the Cougars. The Cougars find themselves with yet another foul. Not give, doing them any favors here, of course, as we get closer here, as the Scarlet Raiders start to creep closer and closer to to their side of the goal. So Scarlet Raiders, I mentioned before, they 
only tied once, uh, and that tie was over against um, Stockton University. That was on that was last Saturday on October 10th. That neither neither team was able to score that time. Um, so Scarlet Raiders looking to. I'm sure both teams not looking for a tie here as the Cougars continue their advance. Number 12 driving this one up here. And that's going to go, that's not really, that's just going to roll over there to the Scarlet Raiders goalkeeper who hangs on to it there um, and throws it back out there. And now the tide has shifted towards the Scarlet Raiders who start lining this one up. Cougars trying to knock them away that time. Scarlet Raiders trying to hang on to it, but it was a three-on-one movement that time. And so in there, Kevin Olea trying to hang on to that one, send it away. Get a little out number there, but Zapata trying to kick that away. Nice pass there by the Cougars, but that was going to go right back into the hands of a um, Scarlet Raider. Nice job there. Number 12, Barrera rushing up to get that one, but it's going to be a throw-in for the um, – looks like that's going to be a throw-in that time for the – no, sorry, goal kick that time is what I meant goal kick there coming up for the um, Scarlet Raiders. We're down to a little over five minutes now. Now the team can score in this one. We're going to go into a second overtime period. Shot going high there, trying to pass it to number 27, and a goal! Goal there for the Cougars is going to wrap this game up just like that. And we just saw there that shot making some quite of a distance there. And just like that, this game is over, folks. Cougars picking up that victory there, no problem. So now, see a shot there, that pass to... And just go and see that replay there, that kick just going in there clean. You can see the goalkeeper going high to try to grab that one, and it's going to be no good. So looks like that will be a wrap here for today. Cougars are going to pick this one up in overtime. So Cougars picking up that victory now at home. They remain undefeated at home after that shot. And that shot by Von Cusano keeping the Cougars undefeated here at Alumni Stadium. So we're going to see the Cougars back here later on this week. They're going to go up against Rowan University. That's going to be at 7.30 p.m. And this is going to be one more game set up here next week um, at the 28th against Ramapo College. So Cougars go 14 and 2 overall here today and includes coverage for tonight's game. So I'm Justin George and for everyone here at Kane Live, we will see you next time.